Hi guys, bye guys. <laughs> no kidding, hey buddy. Shocking into 1040 for Tuesday. Welcoming you back to more Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. Had to do that one breath. I really do not want to do that again. Last time, we made our way over to the Star Realm after beating Commander Shrew with his Shrew Bombs and Support Shrews, getting them their butts kicked significantly. In this episode, we've been told to actually find an Aurora block in order to allow Luigi passage to the Star Realm. So we are going to be in search of that such block right now. And hopefully not get interrupted by a lot of enemies, but if we do, then that's entirely their fault. Because they're going to have nothing more than a harsh, harsh bloodbath. That's all I can honestly say. Uh, right. So we're avoiding them. And, but we actually got a new enemy. Oh, two new enemies, actually. Enemy number one. The Wonder Thwack. Red and blue. And in case you're wondering, yes. They both have elemental weaknesses. The reds have an elemental weakness to ice, whereas the blue has an elemental weakness to fire. Of course, we're going to show their attacks because they are really rapidly fast paced. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Oh, okay. Dang it. Okay, there we go. Okay, got the counter-attack on that one that time. So yeah, the Wonder Thwacks have a chance of dropping 1-up mushrooms regardless, but it's a 15% it's a 15% chance of getting a 1-up super, but a 10% chance of getting a 1-up mushroom itself. And now for the other new enemy. I tried to dive bomb over the top of a red. This is... The Piranha Planet. This method of attacks, as you could tell, one of them was based on a laser. If they pop up at the top, it will go for Mario. If it pops up on the bottom, it will go for Luigi. And the second... It's not this. Uh, can you do any other attack apart from that, please? I know you have another attack. You got two other attacks, actually. There you go. Here's one. Pay attention to the colors, because that's who they're going to attack. I actually showed you the timing on how to jump on them immediately, but don't think you're going to be able to do it for all eight. Just letting you know. Of course, he really loves this attack. There is one more attack he's actually yet to show, and I'm wanting him to show it. But he's being really stubborn. There we go. Yep, he will turn around before, well, when you see the hammer attack. That means he's going to determine on who he's going to attack by, by the bros. I think if he points at the bottom before doing the head bonk attack, he's going to go for Luigi. But if he's positioned like he is right now, he's going to go for Mario. You have to hammer him three times before the attack to stop entirely. That's basically all of his attacks. And we're going back to the laser gun attack. Honestly. Uh, right, not going to be having any more new enemies for the time being... Get away from me, Wonder Thwack. 
Thank you. Right, so this path over here. You want to like be extra careful because you can potentially fall off even when you're not actually trying to. Right, so we just do that. Okay, that's that's the way for the pathway forward. But if you go over here, an ultra drop and falling down the bottom. Okay, make our way back up there. So yeah, the reason why, you notice that we actually walk diagonally downwards, yet we managed to go from the top of the platforms straight to the bottom. Kind of awkward to say the least. So now we're going to have to make our way back. Shortcut our way across. Um, actually, actually no, we, we won't um, go that way because we want to see what's actually on the other side. So we'll pick the babies up and we'll go to the other side and see what's over there. Because I believe there might be some interesting items to pick up if we do. Just try our best to avoid the um, enemies as best as we can. I'm not really going to like stay silent and let you guys listen to the music too much, honestly, because I'm trying to think of something to talk about, and at the moment I'm not having any luck. Because knowing me with my word choices is not really best suited. Right then, so. Okay. We're too far away for that one. Ah! Nearly jumped on the ant fake then. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! The heck was that? Okay, there we go. Two red shells. Uh, toss the babies back over. Whoa! God damn it! Okay, well at least we can jump up this bit. Got Mar Mario block. Just coins. And just coins again. And I thought there was going to be some interesting items over here, and apparently it's not to be the case. Right, so let's move on then. Uh, right, let's see. There's a couple of items up there. There's a piranha planet over there. Uh, right, okay. Two trampolines. And let's see what the um, item boxes up this path actually give us. Two ultra drops. Shroom badge A. We haven't even recovered, um, encountered a shroom badge of any kind actually. Uh, let's see. Shroom badge A. Shroom badge... Oh, here we go. Greatly increased points recovered by using mushrooms in battle. So, I believe that means the amount of health you get from eating a mushroom, you get a bit more than the original amount. I don't know what the exact numbers are for it. Well, to like calculate or something, I'd like, like I say, because obviously one mushroom heals up 20 HP, one heals up 40, one heals up 80, and then another one just heals up all. So really, the shroom badge is not really the best sort of badge to have if you have max mushrooms, because max mushrooms is just basically like a full heal. 
Right, so we'll call the babies here. And we've only got one place to go, which is up here. And there is the Aurora block. Uh, oh, okay. I was curious what was on that side. Kind of seemed a little bit out of the ordinary of having two springboards here. Right, we'll start off with three and see if we can actually... Right, okay. Got it! Now we'll make the babies go up here. Oh, baby Mario actually hit the Aurora block. And now baby Luigi hits it. So now we're just going to have to go back to square one. Which is basically just go back to where this whole trek even first started. So I would say see you guys over there, but I not really I don't really have any magic fingers to actually cut the video short or something, if you know what I mean. All my fingers are dedicated to doing is pushing buttons on the gamepad and everything. Yes, that is it. Impressive. That is the Aurora block. You have done well to found it to find it. Now, green man of mustache, strike the block so that I may witness your deed and deem you worthy despite your flaws. No, 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 that will not do. Your insanity sickens me. The insanity, sorry. Approach me this instant. Are you listening to me, Green Man of Mustache? For you should listen well. It is not due to your efforts alone that the block was brought here, was it? Now, who was who is responsible for the achievement? Hmm? Who is it that made this possible? Select your answer from the following three choices. Mario! That is not true, is it? Think this through carefully. To whom do you owe thanks for the completion of your task? The babies. Um, eh? <laughs> yes, yes. The correct answer is four. Everyone. Um. Yeah. Kind of stay obvious that. And I accidentally caught the headphone cable. I hope it didn't actually like affect anything. But yeah. Hmm. How could I fail to know the correct? We did know the correct answer. We couldn't choose it. Did I tell you to choose from only three responses? <laughs> yeah. Pfft. Honestly. Surely you realize your progress is a testament to the teamwork. That is in the group effort. I know you do, and yet you refuse to pick the correct answer for everyone. And then you lie. If you continue thusly, your fate is sealed. You shall spend your days in loneliness, mark my word. Oh dear. I beg your pardon? You imply that I am lying? That's it, Mario! Hammer him to pieces! <laughs> you mean to say that Luigi has done nothing wrong? You're truly... Yep, we sure are. You are the best siblings ever. <laughs> Come green and man of moustache. You need weep no more. Rise and face me. This is all merely a... Yeah, merely a test of your devising. No, I think you just wanted to shun Luigi even more. Red man of moustache, for the sake of your brother, you went in search of the Aurora block. You endured hardships and supported your sibling. 
Your feelings of your brother are genuine. What a grand older brother. I am quite moved. Free man of moustache, for all that I have forced you to endure, forgive me. You see, I know the truth. Your heart is like a gemstone, multi-faced and beautiful. I see how it sparkles. There are places that need polishing, but you are fi vital to your companions. You must march bravely on. You have my undying support. Okay. <laughs> That's all what you just said. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we'll hit the Aurora block. A fine jump. And by the way, the Aurora block, it can alter its shape to match the size of the heart of the one who strikes it. Shun once again! <laughs> and there we go! Baby Cakes has evolved into Adult Cakes! <laughs> and I love that! It's like, we got Adult Cakes, and immediately just like, the babies laugh, and then they just go, Pick up all. I picked up Luigi. <laughs> it's just so funny. Oh, you gotta love moments like that for Luigi. I mean, poor Luigi, but you gotta admit, it does add a sense of humor. Righty then. So over in this part, uh, there's a bean spot. I had a feeling it was a bean spot over here. So we'll dig you up. Make our way over to find another bean spot over here. Thought it was only one, but no matter. Two is better than one. And now we go inside this warp pipe and find out that the path to the Star Shrine is not yet complete. As you can tell, we've got yet another save album. But more importantly, we've got more enemies. Another 100 coin dispenser block. Another bean. Um, and also, this. You hit these blocks and you'll make two solid beams show up. What you need to do is, you need to find a block that poses in the exact opposite of where the beam is going. So as you can see, we are on the far left-hand platform on the top map. Basically being the small map. If we follow the red beam to the far right post on the opposite side, we can connect the two red beams together. Same case scenario for the pink beam, but it's going to the bottom right corner of our star-shaped platform. We will be focusing on doing this another time. So next time on Mario and Luigi, Partners in Time, we are going to be completing the path towards the Star Realm. Or should we say the Star the Star Haven, as I want to call it. I don't really know, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, see you guys then.